I'm joined now by the chair of the January 6th committee, Benny Thompson, and vice chair Liz Cheney. Chairman Thompson, let me begin with you. You've been going at this for the better part of a year. What are your most consequential findings so far? Well, I think obviously what occurred on January 6th uh, was definitely a dark day for our country. Uh, our challenge is to get to the facts and circumstances that created it. Uh, we're in the process of uh, interviewing witnesses, taking depositions, and clearly uh, we have uh, uncovered some things that cause us real concern. Uh, things like um, uh, people trying to uh, uh, throw the will of the people to make sure that uh, government by the people would not be served, and basically, uh, for the most part, undermine uh, the integrity of our democracy. So we found some of those things. Uh, we're in the process of documenting it. We're getting uh, volumes of, of material. We're talking to witnesses. But I can assure you uh, what we have seen uh, causes us real harm. I can't uh, say a lot about it right well, what, now. What can, what can uh, you say about it? Really, what, kind of what kind of specifics can you give us about what you found? What concerns you well, the most? Well, that it appeared to be a coordinated effort on the part of a number of people uh, to undermine the, the election uh, of uh, November, last November. The reason I say that is it could be people in the executive branch, could be people in the Department of Defense, uh, uh, some state characters, uh, some nonprofits, and some very wealthy individuals who wanted to try to finance uh, this undermining of our democracy. And, what people saw uh, on January 6th uh, with their own eyes uh, was not just uh, something created uh, at one moment. It was clearly what we believe, based on the information we've been able to gather, uh, a coordinated activity on the part of a lot of people. Any, any evidence that you've come across that some of your fellow members of Congress may be culpable? Well, we're in the process of getting to that. Uh, as you know, uh, we've asked uh, two members of Congress to voluntarily come before our committee. Uh, we will probably be asking some more to come. Uh, former uh, member and chief of staff of former President Donald Trump gave us over 9,000 pages of documents uh, we've been going through. Uh, we're looking at uh, what occurred on January 6th, more specifically in those documents. There's communication between uh, some of those members uh, and the White House, uh, especially asking them to, uh, asking uh, Chief of Staff Meadows uh, to get the president to call off uh, this, uh, this riot or insurrection. So there's some involvement. We just want to make sure we get uh, to the bottom of it and we produce a report. Uh, that can be uh, viewed with integrity and accuracy by the American people. What more can you do besides issue a report? How do you hold those responsible accountable? Well, you know, that's really uh, up to the Department of Justice. Uh, our charge is to get to the facts and circumstances uh, of what occurred on January 6th. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, in addition to that, we'll make some recommendations in terms of legislation. Uh, to uh, hopefully, if adopted, uh, this will never ever happen again. Uh, I've been a member of Congress. What kind of for quite legislation can prevent that? Uh, well, the first uh, legislation would be the coordination of resources to protect the Capitol. Uh, there were significant inconsistencies in coordination. Uh, the, the National Guard uh, from the District of Columbia was uh, slow to respond. Uh, not on its own, but they had to go to the Department uh, of Defense. Uh, we have actually fixed that right now, where the mayor of the District of Columbia uh, can access the Guard uh, right now. Uh, in addition to that, our intelligence gathering components. Uh, as you know, it was clear that uh, we were not apprised that something would happen. Uh, but for the most part, it was the worst kept secret in America that people will come into Washington and, and the potential for coordination and, and what we saw uh, was there. So 
We want to make sure that never happens again. In addition to that, we want to make sure that the, the line of communication between the Capitol Police and the structure of how we make decisions is clear. Right now, it's kind of a hybrid uh, authority, and that authority clearly broke down the training wow. components for our Capitol Police. A lot of things that we don't have right now, but our work product will recommend some of those things based on our investigation. Finally, sir, several legal experts have suggested it would be counterproductive for your committee to make criminal referrals. Is that still on the table? Well, uh, to be honest with you, uh, as a member of Congress, we all take an oath of office. And part of that is in the pursuit of doing our day-to-day -day activities. Uh, if we find something that is irregular or illegal, uh, we're obligated to report it. So I would say for the sake of our committee, if in the course of our review we find something that we warrant, that we think warrant review uh, or recommendation to the Department of Defense, Department of uh, uh, Judiciary, uh, Justice, to be honest with you, uh, we'll do it. Uh, we are not looking for it, but if we find it, will absolutely make the referral. Mr. Chairman, thank you for your time this morning. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.